Hi, this is Steve Minner, Executive Editor of Industry Week, and we're at the Industry Week Best Plans Conference in Milwaukee. I'm here with Tim Platt, who's the Vice President of Information Systems and Security for Toyota Motors. And Tim, um, I was really impressed by the fact that you talked a lot in your uh, keynote speech today about the relationship between IT and the people down on the floor and the need to uh, really work with them, to be involved with them. Could you talk a little bit about that? Because I think, as you mentioned, a lot of times we don't think of IT people being down mm -hmm. on the factory floor. Absolutely. So, And it's not just IT people that sometimes avoid the floor. Sometimes production engineering folks go there, deliver something, and then move on. And so it's very, very important. You know, And it's part of the Toyota you know, basic principles of Genshin and Vincent, going to the floor, but not just dropping in and leaving but actually spending some time shadowing the members, understanding what really they're trying to accomplish and what the hurdles and the obstacles are. You know, and working your way into a relationship with them where they don't see you as you know, an outsider, that you're part of the team working together with them. It's very, very critical for ongoing success of you know, developing the capability on the manufacturing floor. Right. You mentioned uh, the sometimes suspicion, maybe even resistance, by some lean practitioners to introducing some technology. Um, why do you think that has grown up, and what do you think are some ways you can start to break that down and, and mm -hmm. maybe get people to, to really see the advantages of technology? Well, I think primarily through practical, concrete examples of actually utilizing it and demonstrating in a concrete way. This isn't contrary to, in our case, the Toyota production system, but actually enables it to show that we're not trying to allow the, the manager to stay in the office and to see on a screen what's happening on the floor, but actually giving him the opportunity to understand where the greatest issue is so that he can go to that location and spend more time on the floor rather than less. Through the concrete examples is what our, our general assessment has been. Um, we've got kind of a love affair going in corporate America with big data. Mm -hmm. And in some ways it would almost seem that big data is sort of contradictory to some mm -hmm. of the principles of lean. How do you look at that? Because this is a, a huge change that's occurring in almost every workplace. Mm -hmm. how, how do you see it being managed from, from the IT standpoint? Well, we, we do produce a lot of data. Um, you know, if you look at our manufacturing processes, things are clicking through once a minute in a long line. And so you end up with a lot of potential data. Um, our problem-solving methodology says start with the full set of data. Don't try to solve everything initially, but solve the greatest chunks of consistent issue with likely consistent causes which will be addressed through consistent countermeasure, and then you can address a large part of the gap. But in order to understand where you want to target, you have to understand the complete set and let the analysis point you down toward the piece that is first, and then second, and then third. So it clearly has a part. You don't want to keep it, meaning keep analyzing all of it. You want to use it to narrow in where your resources should look. Thanks, Tim. Absolutely. I'm Steve Minner at Industry Week's Best Plans Conference.